Almost two years after the fall of Muammar Gaddafi, Libya is a country without a strong rule of law. Internal security is handled by militia groups. In fact, the group that took the prime minister works with the interior ministry. From Tripoli now, Nick Robertson explains Libya's precarious situation and shows us how the gunmen were able to get to the prime minister. Well, the prime minister was held for about eight hours before he was released unharmed. His ordeal began in the early hours of the morning at the, his luxury hotel in the center of Tripoli. About a hundred armed, heavily armed militiamen burst into the hotel. No shots fired, but they forced him to leave. They said because he had broken the law, uh, essentially undermining the interests of the Libyan nation. Uh, the justice minister said rubbish that this was a kidnapping, and that was the position through the morning hours. Eventually, the Prime Minister released, and on his release, he appealed for calm. I hope we can treat this issue with wisdom and calm, away from the tension and escalation. I want to reassure the foreigners inside Libya that this issue happened within the context of Libyan political disagreements, and the foreigners are not being targeted. The reality here is that the militia behind the kidnapping are sanctioned by Libyan lawmakers. This undermines the weakness of the government. There is no strong national army. There is no national police force. Security in the country is provided by militias that are, on the one hand, ostensibly loyal to the government, in reality, loyal to their militia commanders. And that was the situation when the prime minister was taken by this particular militia group, sanctioned by the government, yet turning on the prime minister, taking him prisoner, holding him throughout the day, essentially being overruled by other militia groups. The picture that emerges is of a weak government strong militias. The foreign minister here has said it could take a long time before a national security service properly could be built in Libya. The justice minister, when we talked to him, described Libya as being close to a failed state, that he hopes the government can turn, that he hopes this government can turn around. But for people working in the government, this they really feel was a slap in the face for them, despite their efforts to improve the economy of the country. They feel that they've got the militias, in some cases, working against them. Nick Robertson, CNN, Tripoli, Libya.